Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs, so if you're new, make sure you come back every day. It looks like it's like late, but it's actually just like Chicago trying to be Seattle today. It's What are you doing? Anyway, I want to make some coffee this morning. I've already, I don't know why I waited this long to have it, but I just got up to my work day. Sarah's up, James's up, Teddy's waking up. He's just doing his own thing. But we're doing a little bit of a box opening. Unboxing. An unboxing, some would call it. Um, from this cool new coffee company called Shell N. And we don't always do these kinds of things, um, but this is from a very dear friend who started his own coffee roaster. Look at this. So Sarah just looked it up and Shell N means B in Gaelic. In Gaelic, I wasn't. I was sure if I was gonna say Celtic or Gaelic, so that makes sense for the for the bees right here in this wrap. And so this is our friend Matt, wonderful guy, wonderful family. He actually runs Disney Coffee Blog. He started a coffee company in Florida. Look at this. So we got a Colombian, we got Guatemala. These are all half pound bags. Colombia. And Nicaragua. All roasted, you can see that. You can see that right there, the date, the roast level and the date. Yes, all the half pound bags were nine bucks each. Oh, I like how it even says Winter Garden Florida on the on the label there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, go to the website in the info, check it out, support our friend. We don't always do that, but I think we should just support our friends. And I'm gonna try the coffee right now. We're gonna make a cup, and so I'll be able to give you an honest review. But he has very high standards for coffee. He does have high standards for coffee. He critiques all of Disney World's coffees all the time. And he and also he has, great... has like a website that shows like where to get coffee everywhere at Disney. So yeah, so check out his website too if you're if you're a coffee aficionado and you're in Walt Disney World and you don't know where you're going. Like how one of my favorites is the coffee stand um, right outside of Tower of Terror. Just a little snippet there but I think we're gonna make the let's do the Guatemala today we'll do the Guatemala today I'll probably try these the next three days but we're gonna make this one right now and we'll let, see how it goes We interrupt this coffee making sequence with a very cute baby who just woke up. It's 9.30. <laughs> Teddy, hi. Hi. Oh, you see the camera? Is it my Teddy, buddy? <laughs> Is it my Teddy? Is it my Teddy? What I think doing? when Teddy's like 18, 19 years old, we're always, whoa. <laughs> We're always going to say like how his smile and laugh was. Like I feel yeah. like that's like such like a defining personality. It's it's his, his laughs and his big smile. Teddy, hey you, it's a big kid. <laughs> hey you, yeah, it's a big kid. <laughs> that is a good looking cup of coffee. Let's dive right into it. Don't mind the, the dooting in the background. We have Bluey on. That's a cup of Joe. You don't put any cream or sugar in right there. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I like want to try them all right now, but that's not how it's going to work. And I also want to try all that. I think there's like three or four more flavors on the website right now. And I just want to get those for the, right now. But anyway, um, really good. Thank you, Matt. I want to show you, I want to read you and show you what the website says. James wants me to open the coffee. Baby, that's coffee grounds. 
There's a website I love that. Um, in folklore, beasts symbolize diligence and wisdom, serving as little magical messengers from the gods. From our hives to yours, we hope you enjoy our coffee. I like this. Naturally vegan, gluten-free, contains no honey. <laughs> Alright, uh, I have to get back to work, but I'm gonna enjoy this cup of coffee while it's working. What are you doing over there, Teddy? Huh? I got my diaper change. Uh, it's a my teddy bear. Hi, hi. I made a, a little kombucha cocktail for myself this morning. It is the holiday cheer kombucha with cranberry juice. We are having a Halloween -y night at my sister Jenna's house with both my sisters and their families, and um, we're gonna be painting pumpkins tonight. So I figured I'd get my Christmas fix in before we're in total Halloween mode tonight. Don't all one-year-olds eat chips and salsa? Um, you're gonna need two super soon. Maybe two-year-olds do. That's why Evie's been barking. Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. Teddy took over three-hour nap, which is the longest stretch of sleep he's had since birth, no, since, I don't know, a month? Do you feel so good? Do you feel so rested? Are you taller? I think you got eyebrows during your nap. It's just a Seattle-esque day here, but it's actually like, I think Chicago's beautiful when it's like this sometimes. We got some fall leaves all around the neck of the woods. Got just like a light drizzle. I'm gonna run into the 7 Eleven to grab Sarah a Pepsi and maybe like a, a life water or something for myself. Had a couple minutes between meetings and just said, take a little fresh air walk. Jamesy? Oh, you took my drink. Look at this hairdo after that nap. Good nappings today, everyone. Look at this little pumpkin hat. <laughs> James didn't get to wear it when he was born because he was born at Christmas time, November 1st, duh. Um, just perfectly fits <laughs> if, it was, if his head was any bigger. But perfect for a night of pumpkin painting. Mufasa getting the hyenas um, when he saves Simba and Nala. And that was his cute little face during that part. Um, we are almost in Indiana, I think. Time that we left. Bad weather made for some serious traffic. But everyone's in good spirits and we'll be there soon. What are you doing, Vivi? Oh, I'm pumpkins. Awesome. <laughs> Jenna has cookies out, cupcakes, dips, caramel apples.
Bye, Nick. Hey, hey. Uh huh. Fuck what you do over there. Can we do our best? High five. We did our best. Can we get it? I don't have any tears this year, so that's. <laughs> Look at this good girl. Teddy's asleep, just waiting for Peter to come out here. I finished putting James down so we can all go to bed. Sarah from the future. Um, we totally did sign off last night, but we must have not been recording because there's like a, a one second like clip, like we probably thought we were recording and we didn't. So we basically put the boys to bed and I edited and then we went to bed um, but yeah yesterday was such a nice night with the family so festive I have this little one finishing up the vlog with me and it's good to be home also if you're wondering what this is I've officially started packing for Disney World if you count this started but I do we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.